Hey, I'm Amanda Wood here with Cody Jones in the Swamp, wrapping up this incredible 28-27 to victory Florida had over Tennessee tonight. Holy fourth down conversion. Will Greer had an amazing pass to Antonio Callaway, who took it for a touchdown on just fourth and 14 with a minute and 26 seconds left to play. A huge play by Antonio Callaway, the true freshman. I even heard some people comparing him to Percy Harvin tonight, which shows how much he really means to this team. Cody, uh, Will Greer had kind of a tough first three quarters. He missed a lot of passes. He was panicked, and he just kind of seemed like he was out of control a little bit at times. What do you think he did in the fourth quarter to pick it up? Yeah, there's no question. that Those last two drives, I think, were, were the big ones for him. And it's actually it's when Florida went basically no huddle, was trying to hurry up a little bit. And that's something McElwain kind of talked about earlier, thinking that maybe that simplified things for him a little bit. It's not as much thinking. It's OK, get lined up, snap the football, and go. I think Florida might have found something tonight with that. I think that's something they need to look at a little bit more uh, next week, just using that more often instead of just in, in a two-minute situation like that or when you need to score quickly because there, there's no question. Greer was a lot more comfortable in that. He, he seemed much more in command of the offense and was, was just playing more accurate than at other, at other points in the night. So I think that, that's the big difference for him, and that's something they've got to look at, I think, going forward. It was such a physical game for Greer even. Uh, Jonathan Bullard went down. Antonio Riles went down. Vernon Hargraves was dealing with some lower back issues. Brandon Powell had cramps. He came out of the game with cramps and came back in and scored a t crucial touchdown for them. How physical of a game was this? Yeah, there's no question. I think everybody kind of knew that coming in just because the run game has been so important in this rivalry. And this is one of the few times where the team that ran the ball for the most yards didn't actually win it. Uh, and Tennessee really was able to do whatever it wanted on the ground against Florida, and, and that was it. But I, I still think that that's what you said. It was extremely physical. And you could see that. And getting late in the game, defense is kind of wearing down a little bit too, especially that Florida defense trying to tackle a guy like Jalen Hurd. I think that'll wear anybody down. Down. So that, that's the big thing, I think, for, throughout this one is, is really Florida survived with no serious injuries either. It doesn't sound like any of these things are, are overly serious. And so anytime you can do that in a game as physical as this one, I think you feel pretty good about it. Yeah, and the Florida defense had to deal with a really tricky offense in Tennessee. Quarterback Josh Dobbs was called Houdini by linebacker Jared Davis tonight. He took one. They did a double pass play and Josh Dobbs took it in for a touchdown. That was the first one of the game. He was just 10 for 17 through the air, but he had 136 rushing yards, which was more than Jalen Hurd, who had 102 rushing yards. Uh, Florida said that they had to work on on their tackling better, that they needed to wrap up more. Do you think that a, an offense like this was a good learning experience for Florida? Yeah, I think so. You know, a guy like Dobbs, it can really run. I mean, Florida's going to see a lot more of that going forward. They've seen maybe a little bit in the opener against New Mexico State, but it's nowhere close to what they saw with this one with a quarterback that can really go and is as athletic as most receivers in this conference. I mean, he's a, a re he can really make people miss. He saw it multiple times. Florida had issues tackling him, and he's handing off to Jalen Hurd, who's just massive and running through Florida defenders. And this is a good Florida defense. This is really – I think when you look at the whole pieces of the Tennessee run game with those two and, 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 uh, and Kamara being the other one, those are three pieces that I don't know that a lot of teams on Florida's schedule are going to have this year. I mean, obviously there's the Fournettes and the Chubbs and those kind of guys, but there's a, as far as just depth, there's a lot of guys for this Tennessee offense I think make things work and really challenge Florida tonight, and, and you could see it. And there's still, that's the thing, and Mac McElwain talked about, there, there's still so many things they can go back on film and look at from tackling and just being out of position at, at different times. There's a lot of room for Florida to grow, but they were able to get a win, and they're 4-0 now. I don't think a whole lot of people would have expected that with this team coming into the year. So uh, overall, I think they seem pretty happy and, and still a whole lot of, of work left for to do. Yep, and it only gets tougher going from here on out as they take on Ole Miss next weekend, and we will have you covered for everything right here on FightingGators.com, so keep it locked. For Cody Jones, I'm Amanda Wood.